Hello everyone, in today's video we will see what all options we have to enroll BYOD iOS uh, Apple devices. When a user tries to access company data from its uh, Apple iOS device, either they can access the company data without any enrollment or we can force them to enroll the device before they can access our company data. So let me show you a scenario where I have a user device which is not enrolled into my company but I can access uh, any company data on it. So this is my iOS phone. So let me try to open my company email on this. So here I am on my iOS phone and I'm trying to access my company email. So let me put in my password. So I'm signing into my email and I can see my email and this device is not managed. So if I go under my Intune, go to devices, go to iOS and iPad devices, I don't see any device here. So this device is not managed but I can still access my company data, email, my OneDrive and all other apps. So how do we make sure that the user enrolls the device first, then they can access the company data. In order to do that, I will create a conditional access policy in my Azure AD conditional access. So here I am, I have already created a policy which is turned off. So let me show you the settings of that policy. So I am applying it to my certain user sense group by which I would enroll the device. You could apply it to all users. Under cloud apps, I have selected Office 365 preview. I could select all the cloud apps, but in this case, it uh, will ask me for conditional access on my, uh, for example, if I try to access portal.azu.com as well. So I will do it only for Office apps. And what are the conditions? So I want it to apply only for iOS devices. So I have selected that. And under client apps, I have selected browser and mobile apps and desktop clients and modern authentication clients. So this browser includes your uh, web-based application that uh, use protocols like SAML, WS Federation, OpenID Connect. Modern authentication client would mean your office desktop uh, apps and your phone applications. Exchange Active Sync would include your Exchange Active Sync protocol, and other clients would include your SMTP, IMAP, POP, and Outlook Anywhere services. So I will leave it like it is and click on Done. Under Grant, I will select Required Device to be marked as Compliant. So the device will only be able to access my Office 365 company data when it's marked Compliant. And for it to be marked compliant, it has to be enrolled first. So once this conditional access is on and I try to access my email, it will ask me to register my device so that it can check the compliance policy. So we have set up the conditional access policy and the device will enroll to meet that. And also we will have to set up the compliance policy so that once it meets the compliance, it will be able to access the company data. So I have set up a compliance policy and applied it to all users. And the compliance setting, I have set it for minimum OS version 8.0, which my device needs. Now we will go to devices and go to iOS uh, iPad OS enrollment and go under iOS iPad OS enrollment. Under here, we will go to enrollment types. So this is the enrollment type for your BYOD devices. This enrollment program token is for your company owned devices. So I have Apple MDM push certificate already here. So which is a prerequisite. I will go under enrollment types. I will create a profile for iOS and iPad devices. Here under enrollment type, I have two options, device enrollment and user enrollment. So when we select device enrollment, the device enrolls as a corporate device. If we select user enrollment, the device enrolls as a personal device. So what are the differences? So device enrollment has been there from quite long and it is the one in which the Intune administrator has full access to the device. They can remotely wipe the device as well. In user enrollment, Intune administrator do not have 
as much control on the device as they have during as they have with device enrollment method so the third one we see here in this one the user gets the choice whether they want to enroll it as a user enrollment or device en enrollment so let us see the user enrollment method uh, which is a new one it, re it requires ios 13 or above it provides a better balance of security and privacy between enterprise and user data in byod scenario in the user enrollment, MDM cannot retrieve device identifying information such as serial number, user device ID, IMEI or MAC address. The MDM can install and remove apps. However, it only sees the apps that it is managing. So it won't be able to manage personal apps. It supports profiles such as Wi-Fi, per app VPN, account related profiles like email, calendar, contact, Exchange Active Sync, but it cannot uh, apply profiles like strict passcode or proxy network traffic that restrict user. So these are not supported. Administrator cannot wipe a device under user enrollment. It also requires a managed Apple ID. So when the user registers a device, the company ID by which they are registering, that has to be a managed Apple ID. In case you are a company and you own that device, then probably you do not want your users to enroll the device as a user enrolled. So you will select device enrollment in that case. But here for the demo, I will select determine based on user choice and I will show you both the scenarios. I will assign it to all users. Next, create. So now I have a conditional access applied which tells my device to be compliant for it to access the company data and for it to be compliant it has to be enrolled in mdm and when it tries to enroll in mdm we have this uh, enrollment profile applied to my user account so it will give me a choice whether you want to enroll it as a company device or as a user device byod it will ask me to enroll it as a device which belongs to company or as a personal device so we will see both the scenarios so here I am on my device and let me try to access my email now. So it is asking me to enroll my device. So I'm going to click on enroll now. And here it's uh, telling me to get the company portal app. So I'm going to click on get the app, install the company portal app from App Store. I'm going to open the company portal app. And this is my account, which I will use. So now let's begin the enrollment process. So as I selected the option where user has the freedom to choose what type of enrollment they want to do, whether it's a user enrollment or device enrollment. So first one is device enrollment. The second one is user enrollment. So we'll go with the device enrollment first and click on continue but uh, our device administrator cannot see so they cannot access your password delete your personal photos share see the location of the device browsing history on the phone and what they can see so they can see the model serial number os device name so they can also uh, reset your device to factory settings click on continue It is downloading management profile, which I would allow. So it has downloaded the profile. It's now asking me to go to settings app on my phone. And here I should see profile downloaded, which I will click on and install. So profile installation is done. Now let us go back to the company portal app. Here it is asking me to select a category for my device. So this setting I did in my Intune. So under devices and if I go to device categories, so I defined uh, three categories here. So I'm going to go with the test one and click on continue. Okay. 
So now my device is uh, enrolled in Intune and uh, let me try to access uh, email now. So it should work because my device is compliant and also enrolled in Intune. So now I am able to access my email address and let's go to Intune portal and see the device. The Intune portal, I'll go to devices, iOS and iPad OS devices and here I could see my device. So the ownership is a corporate here. So if I had selected as a user enrolled, it would have shown personal here. Here I could see the device name, uh, the primary user enrolled by ownership, serial number, phone number and the device model. I could uh, retire the device wherein I could uh, remove the company data from it or I could also delete the device. It's giving me a warning and uh, I'm going to click on yes. So here I am on my device and I have sent the command to retire the device and if I go under company portal. Now I could see a message that this device is not managed. And now let me try accessing my email again and see if it works or not. So it should not work. So I tried accessing my email and now it has failed. So it's asking me to enroll the device. So this time I'm going to enroll it as a user enrollment. I already have company portal, so I will just open it. Click on get access. We'll click on continue. This time I will select I own this device. It's asking me two options. How do you want uh, my company to secure the device after it's enrolled? So secure entire device or secure work related apps and data only. So in this case, what they cannot do, they cannot access or reset your password. When we select that only secure work related data, they cannot reset factory default to reset your phone. I'll go to settings and click on the profile. So here it is asking us to sign with our managed Apple ID. So this is uh, how far I could go only because my company ID, which is Anubhav Sharma at anubhavinit.co.in has to be enabled as a managed Apple ID in Apple Business Manager for which I do not have access to. But if I had access to that and this would have been my managed Apple ID, I just have to type in the password and go next and it would have enrolled my device. So we will skip this part and cancel and delete the profile. Now we'll see another option wherein the device is enrolled as user enrollment, but I will encrypt all the data on the device. So now I will try to access my email and re register my device as user enrollment, but I will encrypt the whole device. I own this device. Now I will select secure entire device. So now when I selected secure entire device and I selected I own this device, in this case then admin can do a factory wipe of my device but I did not get the option to put in a managed Apple ID. So we get the option for managed Apple ID when we do a user device enrollment and we select only to encrypt the work data. 
so now it is uh, checking my compliance and security of the device so th once the device is compliant i will get access to my email so let me try accessing my email so now i am so now i am able to access the email as well now if i see my device in intune i could see that it's showing ownership as personal and if i open the device i see all the options of retiring and completely wiping the device to factory reset so in this video we saw the ways by which we can enroll a byod device so we have the option of device enrollment wherein the ownership is with the company and it shows as a corporate owned device here or we have the option of user enrollment where we only encrypt the work data in that case we need a corporate account to be also set up as managed apple id in apple business manager the third option is user enrollment where we encrypt the whole device and in this case we see the ownership as personal but we have the option to remote wipe the device and we don't need a managed apple id i hope you like this video and i will see you in my next video please like and subscribe to my channel bye bye